Loving the guesses, guys. Good morning. A little bright this morning. Sorry. Let me adjust that real quick. I've been... <clears throat> I've been running this morning. Let me adjust that real quick. So I was doing a <clears throat> doing my gold spot community gift guide video this morning. So the lighting, I adjusted the lighting a little bit. So now we're back to normal. Good morning. I like the guesses. Keep the guesses coming. Bump, what's up? Happy Tuesday. Even supposing, good morning. While everyone's coming in, even supposing, you can tell me what do you write about every day when you're posting your 30 inks in 30 days? And you do 30 inks in 30 days every 30 days because it's always 30 inks in 30 days and it's like crazy impressive. So go, you're on the spot. You keep us entertained while everyone's coming into the chat this morning. <clears throat> no pressure. Um, I have... All right, so sorry. So this morning, pre-show, I came over early. Well, I'll, I'll wait a couple minutes. Basically, the long, the short version is I need to pull up my um, my frame counter because I have uploads going on the side. So if I look a little bit distracted, good morning, Bork and Bork, Evan Max, good morning, good morning, Michael, good morning, podcast player, good morning. We have maybe the biggest unboxing ever on, Michael, thank you so much for the Twitch prom, I appreciate you. Am I Disney Plusing? I am not. So I went through the whole um, offering last night, like however many pages worth of scrolling, and I just don't think I'd use it right now. Maybe eventually, if they if they come up on um, come up with some different things, because my kids are a little bit past wanting to watch all the Disney stuff, right? Other like they'll watch the Pixar stuff now, and I'm not going back to watch all that stuff as much. So I'm gonna wait. Ah. There's the answer I was looking for. So Ink Journal, which my friend Tom from Gold Spot Pens, who we're going to talk about in just a moment, hosts 30 inks in 30 days challenge every month that there are 30 days. So September, November, April, June. Super smart. Super smart. <clears throat> yeah, so the, the problem is with the Disney Plus is I want to see The Mandalorian. So maybe I just buy it for a month. Or are they staggering the launch of the Mandalorian? Yeah, if they if they bundle bundle it with at least ESPN Plus, I don't even care as much about Hulu. But if they at least bundle Disney, ESPN Plus, and all that, we will do we'll do all the. Th I will eventually get it. Seven day free trial on Disney Plus. So I need to wait until the full Mandalorian release is out, and then catch it right. That if that seem if I don't want to subscribe, but I do want to see the Mandalorian. Um, people are are saying it's fantastic so far. Is what is what I'm gathering. That it's uh, very very popular. <clears throat> all right. Sorry. Close off all these screens here. <laughs> Good morning, Kimmy. Rocket Mortgage. I hadn't seen that one in a while. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Evan. So yeah, it's like I, I'm not going I'm not insta sub to Disney Plus. Like I barely do enough Netflix to afford to want to continue to subscribe to Netflix. But I do like some of the Netflix shows. Like I'm <clears throat> yeah, that's what I th thought, Bump. I thought there was just one episode. So maybe by the time that mostly releases, I'll do my free trial and then see. But yeah, I have Netflix, I have Amazon Prime, and I wouldn't watch enough to to need the extra Disney Plus. Six bucks, if 
five ninety nine. Is that what it is? Which is great. So, I do have PlayStation View, which that's ending in January, and I'll probably just let that die. Like I could, I don't even need. We don't even watch that, so I probably won't do that. All right. So, a couple things before uh, Dark. I have not seen Dark. So I'll add that to the list. I'm almost done with Shit's Creek, even though that's not a Netflix exclusive, but it's on there. I just finished season four of Shit's Creek last night. That is still laugh out loud funny after four seasons. Um, and then I'm going to go to Ozark season two, which I have only seen one. Um, and then I need uh, the dark could be on the list next. So, yeah, I'll look at that. So that's that's my plan right now. For someone that doesn't watch a lot of TV, that's kind of how I binge how I binge things. So, Peaky Blinders I've heard is good. I'm gonna watch BoJack Horseman. Um, you know, there's lots of good things out there right now. So I just don't I just don't make the time for for uh, TV watching. But I have been trying to finish Shit's Creek. So I just have season five to go. All right. So let's talk about a few things. First off. I came into Studio B early this morning to record my Gold Spot gift guide, which I did. So I thought I was going to be able to do it when we were done streaming today. The stream is going to be pretty long. Um, hopefully, this unboxing is going to take a while. And um, so I came over early, about an hour early, and recorded like a 14, 15 minute video for Gold Spot gift guide. It's up on YouTube now. I'll share the link when we're done so you don't go watch it now. I mean, you could, I don't really care. Um, um, but that's out there. It's something Gold Spot asked me to be a part of this year. Um, they're a longtime sponsor of the blog. They asked me to do it. I said yes, and uh, it was fun. So I hope it came out okay. I look like this on it, it's very similar to this look. Um, so uh, you'll see two videos in a row. Uh, please do not unbox from 1030 to 11. You're in trouble because we're going to start soon. And this is what we've got today. It requires two hands. So it's going to be a day, chat. Ugh. Good morning, Jesse. Yeah, those words. Those words. So it's going to be a day. You'll have to go back and watch, Sarah, because I'm sure I'll be unboxing. Uh, during, during the day. Um, before we do, I want to follow up on something that drove me crazy from last week's stream. And that is about the bag. Uh, yeah, you're gonna, the pilot box. I got to tease that to the end. Sorry. You can text me later or message me later. I'll send you a picture, but I'll, I'll probably have it. I'll, I'll probably have it posted. But we we're talking about bags last week, and I got super sidetracked on the Timbuk2 sling bag. And I said I would go look and try to find the one I was talking about, and I did. So this is your, I don't know the model, the name of it. So I'll probably, I think this thing's so old. Good morning, Jacqueline. Um, this is so old, Mark Dwight was probably at Timbuk2 at the time. So I can email Mark to find him the model name. But it's essentially was designed for like a tablet like this size, but as a sling bag. So it's got the cross body buckle, which it has a massive buckle. Like it's way too big of a buckle for across your chest. Um, I can't imagine women would enjoy this buckle setup at all. Like it's just really, really big, which is probably why this was not a very popular bag at the time. But you can see just how skinny it is. Um, it's really just a little bit bigger, super unboxing TJ today is the day. Thanks buddy. I appreciate it. So you can see it's bigger than a five, but not like an a four size. So anyway, um, I saved this for years because I thought it was a unique design. It was functional, but it's just not perfect. Like it really doesn't get it, get it done because it's so skinny. It was made to wear across the back. So this was a precursor to like what the modern sling bags are that we're using. Like the one you said, Bump, I think we probably have the same bag, which it's deeper, right? It's boxier this way um, as opposed. This almost looks like a seed case. That's how skinny this is. It's a little bit wider, but uh, it's made to be worn across the back. So 
I don't know. It's a it's a weird design. It's a good design, um, but I don't know that it's a super functional design. And that's what we were trying to figure out last week. It was like, how would you use this when it's made? It's not a shoulder bag. It's made to be worn across the back. So maybe it's a 12 book, 12 inch power book bag. Yeah, maybe. But look at that. It's like a the ultra fanny pack. Papa Bose, thanks for the follow. I appreciate you. So I just want to find out the model number, model name of this. I looked through the labels. It's not in there. So I'll see if I can find it. It's uh, just like anything Timbuktu does. It's really well made. It's got zip pouch in the front. But you can tell, like, this is, like, the exterior of the seed case, right? Just the slit pocket in the front and then just zip open, even though this is just a top zip pouch right here and it's got like a single divider on the inside so that's that i just wanted to tell y'all that i found it and now i need to find the name of it and um you know we'll see maybe we can do like a test recreation of this send it to jeff and make it better like would you want something this thin with this much of a buckle system to wear across your chest and back it's a lot to ask for, which is why I think it wasn't that popular at the time. So, there you go. Yeah, I haven't tried a, uh, I haven't tried a Timbuktu in probably a decade, so I don't know what their current uh, QC is like. So, I do know what this man's QC is like. This is from the one and only Ian Schoen. Should we start with the unboxing? We're not gonna mess around anymore. Make that red one. I know, that's a good bag. My son, that's the bag when he goes out of town, he's like, dad, can I take that bag? That's the one he likes to use to put all his junk in there. Yeah, that's a good bag, Mike, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I enjoy that bag. All right, let's go with, with the shown. I know what this is, but I haven't seen one of these in person other than this picture. So he sent me one of the, now that he's doing the color ones, right? And um, y'all got to see a bunch of those. Where did um, people get to, what was the last place people got to, to buy these when he launched these before, to, was it before Tokyo or after? I don't know. So anyway, he ordered these, um, he ordered these, he released these for a friend of the show ian shown i need to get him on the podcast happy new pin day so he's got a little pack-in card dc thank you sorry god that that seems like so long ago that he did this it, that seemed like a month ago and we're in november and it's like four months ago thanks for helping me live my dream as an independent manufacturer of fine pins best wishes from my new workshop in philadelphia all right he wrote me a note here it's long i'm not going to read it this looks like cool uh right pad uh stationary something like that and oh yeah because Wright does his uh his shown design notebooks that's cool that is cool so um i forget the we'll have to go look up the color name that i picked because i forget it is there a dragon something i don't know how do you get this thing open we'll have to go look it up <laughs> that's dope yeah get you some of that oh man this is pretty this seems smaller than even the last model that he sent me did he shrink the size down I'll have to go look it up did he shrink the size down of what they of the original one I'll have to compare it um, let's see if uh see if camera two can pick up this color on this because it is really good it's smaller okay it feels smaller which i like when i first took it out of the box i thought it was like a the shown pen yeah so let's look up the name here the color name there were so many choices it was hard to pick uh Y'all feel free to play along at home too. Yeah, that, that's fair, Tony. Like, 
I love what they do. I will never own one. That's like a great stance. Like I very much believe in that. Believe in that. All right. Let's see. How do you find the color choices? I remember that was a All right. Uh Deep Space is this one, I believe. Yep. All right. So Deep Space. It's just freaking awesome, right? So let me uh, pop that up there. Take that off. Maybe. Why don't, why don't you want to appear? There you go. So this is the one I got. So, yeah, this is, uh, I like it better than the first one he sent me. It's even smaller, which I can't believe. Like, it's just pretty crazy, like, how small this thing is. So, I have some uh, Cron Dash, um, one of the turquoise blue cartridges. I'll put in this, match it up a little bit. Feels great. It's really good size in the hand. I don't know. That's really good. Yeah, I want to compare it to the first fountain pen he sent me because I swear this is smaller, which it makes it even more impressive to me. Like, that's really good. All right. Winner. Very much like that. Uh, Let's see here. I want to see how this shows up. I need to get... um. A better white background for the desk cam so maybe it can focus better you know I have to always have too much going on in the desk and the desk cam set up for it to focus properly on the pins and get them well lit that's not bad though pretty decent lighting there yeah that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be popular with me <laughs> that's a, a definite Brad pin right there all right, I don't know what's going on with this packaging. Ian, I love you, but I'm throwing it all away except for the notebook and the note you sent me. I do love you, though. All right, box number two, I forgot I was getting. I know what it is, and I still can't believe that they sent it to me. It's on loan. Yeah, the fact that you can choose the section, it's pretty dope. I chose the silver one for that one. Um, it, I think it looked better than the black or uh, black or bronze for this pen. Like I like I like both of the I like all three of the sections. I think for this pen, I like the silver. So, all right. I need a good trash pile today, so I don't um, don't throw away anything that I shouldn't be. All right. So many windows open at one time chat all right this box so if you listen to last week's podcast with carrie yeager of kenro industries and of fountain pen day you will probably guess what this is and i knew he was gonna loan me this pen to review what pen am i carrying on my shirt today uh the 1911 uh 4 a.m I've I've become a fan of this pen. So yeah, I really like this. I use it a lot. Is it the Lord of the Rings pen? No, those go to David. Those go to Fig Boot. <laughs> he can have he can do all those reviews for the fancy pens. I get uh I get the oranges, the new black pens. Let me try not to destroy this box so I can ship this back. This pen's on loan. What nib? Uh, stock extra fine nib. So I did not change it, but I have the um, the imperial black and the black luster that I can change out the nib. Right now, I'm sticking with this extra fine because I like it, and the color doesn't bother me as much as I thought I would. But when I run through this converter, I'm going to swap. I think I'm just going to swap the whole section with the black luster and see how I like that. All right, so I don't get to keep this pen. This is this one's on loan to me from Kenro. 
because I need to keep this packaging sort of together. They uh, box in a box, bag in a bag. Let's see here. Mike getting some stuff from Perry. Sweet. Yeah, this is should be the 450. Yeah. That's what this is. These materials that Montegrappa has are really cool. So I don't know that this is the real box for it because it says 30 out of 100, but it's the Mia 450 fountain pen flex fine. So traditional, really good Montegrappa packaging. Very, very orange pen. I love how they send you like the thousand dollar pen with the two uh, five cent janky black cartridges. Like, it's okay if you didn't do that. That'd be fine. I don't think anyone's going to miss it, especially since this is probably a piston filler, right? Like, do I need the. Yeah, we could skip that. We could skip that deal. All right. Let's see. Yeah, this is going to be hard to get well lit because it's over over brighting it all right good luck sarah oh so oh i know what they did so it's 450 total but this is number 30 out of 100 of the flex nib so they did fountain pen flex nib ballpoint i think was the numbering i think i have my camera flipped I had my cameras flipped when I was shooting this other video this morning. So that's what that's why it's 30 of 100 of 450. You got that? Keep that in line. It feels great. Um, the material is awesome. It's got the flex nib. You sure it's just not colors? I thought they were just doing orange in this one. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I didn't look at it enough. So they did, uh, so this has the flex nib cutouts. Can you see that? Yeah, a little bit there. It's hard to see in the cameras. But this is a fine flex. It's pretty flexy. Astro Queen, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Yeah, maybe it's colors. So is there only 100? Oh, that's right, because they only had 50 of the blue. Y'all are right. Yellow, right? So, a hundred orange, a hundred red, a hundred yellow, hundred something else, and then a fifty of the blue. Thank you. Now I'm remembering. That's why you're here, chat. So, this is very cool. Um, is it a piston? It's not a piston filler. So I guess you do need the the Janko cartridges. That's kind of lame because I think it's a pretty expensive pen, right? thousand msrp which means the retailers will sell it for like 800 i'm guessing so this is like aurora 88 yeah it looks like the yovo flex pretty sure it is so it might be oh yeah uh but i like i don't remember all the specifics like all the time i cover a lot of topics i just did this whole video right before this where i talked about like 10 different products so yeah my brain is fried the material's awesome. Um, we'll see what the final retail price is. I like a thousand MSRP doesn't quite feel like it's there. This feels more Aurora Optimum E, Optimum E, without the piston. But the material's glorious. The nib's pretty good. Um, so I'll be anxious to test this out. So this is the gold flex nib from Yovo. So yeah, interesting. I think like, we'll see what this price is, but like I said, thousand MSRP means probably 800 retail, which means I think it's probably, yeah, so 800. And I think that feels too high. I think they'll also probably sell them, right? So. We'll see. Pretty cool. I like it. It's definitely a good pen. I just think it's uh, 
pretty pricey. Montegrappa is always too, too expensive. They are definitely on the more expensive side of the ledger. Um, some of the steel nib Montegrappa pins with the ratchet piston filler, even though they're like $300, like I feel those are there. Like I'm okay with that price point for that pin. And I grant that it is, that is more expensive relative to, to other pins in that category. I will definitely grant that. Um, Montegrappa generally across the board um, is that way. All right. Wow, we're moving right along. This one will slow us in our tracks, though. Y'all know what this box is, right? This is Jet Pins November stuff. I don't think I got everything I asked for. Not everything was in stock at the time. Sorry. You enjoyed hearing the history of the podcast on the uh, history of the company on the podcast? Yeah, that was a good uh, <laughs> settle down, Mary. I know you got to go to work. I don't know. I don't think you're going to make it. Um, so yeah, this is my jet pen stuff for the month, which I'm late on because their email randomly went into spam and it was a direct email from Elaine and I don't know why it did that. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. Oh yeah. I'm not supposed to look at the stuff here, but I might have to, um, yeah, you'll have to watch later. Um, at the risk of sounding ungrateful, did you ship that pen to me via Pony Express? No, I just don't ship as quickly as you think I do. So your pen shipped. I dropped it off yesterday when the post office was closed, so it should actually scan and leave Macon, Georgia today. Oh, all right, go to bed. Yeah, you won't last till 4 a.m., neither will I. So I've been having, usually this time change doesn't mess with me at all. I've been going to bed too early for like a week straight every night, just too early. All right, there's like a thousand notebooks in here. I don't know what the hell I ordered. Uh, Mormon 2020 Diary. This is something new from them this year, I believe. So let's see what the layout's like. Oh, that is tricky. How would I use this? So, let's see. Oh, yeah, 4 a.m. That's awesome. All right. So, this is a vertical... I don't know what's going on here. So, it's got tabs for each month. And then the days of the month with vertical lines. I can use a horizontal line, maybe more of like a habit tracker. <clears throat> Um, yeah, that's my favorite sticker we've done. So this is almost like a habit tracker type of journal. It's interesting. It's very thin. Where do I call? Oh yeah. We don't live call this show yet. One of these days, maybe. <clears throat> so there's the basic month, basic month layout. And then whatever you want to call this layout, it's I'm guessing it's made for habit tracking. That's the majority of this notebook. No, so it's got it's got a two page per month calendar, and then 12 pages or 24 pages of this layout. So this is in the front. Oh, it's got a yearly plan. Huh, I am flummoxed by this. And then the free list in the back. And then a January 2021 thing. I will have to wrap my brain around this one a little bit more. It's very thin. It's got to be 30, 40 pages maximum. We'll have to look at that one a little bit deeply or not. Like that might be one of those things that is just not worth spending my time on. I might just skip. Oh, okay. I know what all the notebooks are here. I bought a bunch of the, uh, the traveler stuff. Um, so it's the traveler, um, 
This is just your basic monthly layout. So calendar pages per month. I was probably, I'll always set up, um, I might set up a traveler's. Thank you, TJ. Let's see what this is really for. It's a lightweight planner. It's a Gantt chart, like a project planning chart. Daily project on up to 17 projects at once. It's a habit tracker, essentially. I don't know that I would call it a Gantt chart for project management. So it's a very strange product. Like that is highly specific. <clears throat> we could, do, I, I want to do some more stuff like that. Like we could do that here. Just take like Skype calls. I just have to figure out how to integrate it. It can't be that hard. People do it all the time. So, uh, um, yeah, so I'll, I'll set up a traveler's notebook for next year maybe to do a giveaway something like that so i have different pieces and parts in this box i think just to uh just to get to i pulled these out of the box this is the tombow um brush pens but in fluorescent colors that's pretty awesome i love these send in voice memos <laughs> yeah that would be funny um, th that would take so much time to manage that. Like you'd have to have a person just would sit there and listen to that. Like, I don't have time to listen to your 15 minute voicemails as, as much as I love you. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I love you. Not that much. Right. <laughs> All right. Okay. This, hmm. All right. Moramon has gone off the deep end this year. This is a calendar insert. Um, so that's a calendar. I know you can't really see it in this in this shrink wrap. So that's a one month, Monday through Sunday. Um, you know, for a full month, thirteen sheets. I think these are are these sticky notes. We'll have to see if these are sticky notes. It, I can't really really see it. Um, yeah, Tony would never be allowed to do that because we would just not do it, right? He's like, nope, 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 nope. So that's what I, I got to see if there's stickers. I'm hesitant to open it up because like, what if I give it away as part of a package thing? But it looks like it's a sticker because on the back side they're explaining how you can like stick it in this notebook layout or you can stick it in that notebook layout. And then it's your... Thanks, TJ. TJ's on the links today. So this I can actually see being useful. I don't know that I would use it, but it's at least more useful than that last that last product, which is just that. I mean, that's a big commitment to produce that to not sell many of them. I, apparently, I bought all the Moramon things. This is sticky note tabs so what they what these are designed for is for your calendar pages like i just showed you if you make a mistake this is the little sticky you put over that calendar square so this is actually kind of funny so this is made for a mistake on your calendar and you overwrite it <laughs> instead of having to white out or scratch out um, that you take your calendar and you can pop them on there on top of your calendar. That's pretty cool. That's some thinking right there. I like Mormon was was dropping acid when they were getting ready for uh, this year's planner setup. They're like, hey, we're getting uh, we're getting beat in all the planner styles and accessories. So let's make a Gantt chart with sticky notes for when you mess up the calendar. Or you could just put the calendar sticker on the cover and just kind of be done with it. Like they are whatever they're on this year at their project uh, planning meeting. Like we need some of that here because um, I, I approve of this. <laughs> I will never use this, but I approve it, approve of it. And apparently I just said one of each to all this stuff. So here's another one. Okay. This one I bought on purpose. <laughs> These are the, uh, the binder clips for the midori midori makes the binder clips but they're metal but they're just like paper thin 
like there's no um real huge bulk to them so they will clip on your pages um this is actually what i need for the theme system journal so i'll probably see how hard they are to transfer from page to page and i might use that um it is very very like wafer thin type of stuff here so like it doesn't they don't even look real it's so thin so we'll see how that goes um zebra midliner highlighters that's just something i wanted to test out um yeah so i announced that yesterday um when i was doing my review that i just saw that drum was was available to buy them online so that just must be a shift in what they're offering so that's cool that that they finally decided to do that why they had that uh restriction in the first place is the weirdest part like that shouldn't be a thing you did not miss the fancy pin unboxing we got to save the fanciness till last but this is going faster than i thought so uh not fast enough for even supposing now i guess supply issues but it just seemed like if you're offering them to retail like why would you restrict a retailer from being able to do their do their job so anyway zebra midliner double-sided highlighters they just had some new colors and these are kind of light uh this is a cool and refined set soft mild color so i like very very light um highlighters so all right let's get a pen box here i know i ordered the platinum carnelian just because i wanted to see those Ooh, are tony are they in the shape of the clip if they are i need to get them for mike he hates that clip so much they have anything in the shape of the clip that would be dope so i don't think the the platinum carnelian is in here because i wanted to see the color even though i said i wouldn't um i wouldn't necessarily like keep the pen or in something that i wanted to add to the collection i still want to see the color and i want to see the sparkles but i got a lamy taxis ball pen i don't know what this is oh okay this is like the lamy 2000 but in wood that's cool like i saw this i wanted this it is very heavy i guess when you're used to a lamy 2000 um you're used to the weight but um that's a pretty cool that's a pretty cool plan all right so let me look here visconti accessories yeah man if i could only get a clip somehow that'd be great so yeah this is pretty neat so it's the lamy 2000 taxus i think the taxus t-a-x-u-s must just be something with the wood so it's uh the wood barrel instead of the macrolon barrel it is substantially heavier it's not a heavy pin but compared to the macrolon 2000 it's substantially heavier it's uh the lamy 2000 ball points a favorite of mine anyway so yeah this will be cool they had two colors of this i believe um, this is the lighter ver version, and then they had a darker version, um, which I don't know the name offhand. Yeah, this one came out good. It's the exact shape. I, I like this a lot. That is... Whew, that's pretty cool. Caught it. It does... It's, yeah, it is kind of kit penny, if you think about it. But I do like that Lamy 2000 shape. I wonder how much these are. I'll have to look and see because the, the Macrolon ballpoint was always pretty reasonably priced, like 60 bucks or something. It looks good, though. I, I'm real happy with it. So this is the Lamy Swift Rollerball in Racing Green. I just like it because I don't love these pins. This is probably like a giveaway pin, but I like Lamy's Racing Green. How does this pen work? Oh, because the refill's not in it. How does this pen work? Is it not really not going to work because the refill's not in it? That's dumb. All right, eighty-four bucks on that pen. There, yeah, that's that's a little bit more expensive than the standard one. So yeah, I bought this one because I'll probably do it for a giveaway. Um, just because I like anything that's the Lamy Racing Green. So it's got the refill here um that you have to put in separately so that's weird 
I don't know, not my favorite Lamy pen. Oh, this is one that'll take the G2. That's good. That means you can put the Pilot Juice in it. I'll try that. That's why I like the uh, the Lamy Tipo, which is the little weird, weird clicky pen. Let's close that because your focus is trash. And um, yeah, if you can swap that, that's one of the few swappable Lamy refills. Some of the other ones are not easily swappable, especially the short ones, like in the Pico. But the Tipo does fit the G2. All right, whatever this is is big. What did I order? Yeah, I think I just got the whole Moramon kit. So this is their new diary. This is, I think, the main product for all of those accessories that I showed off earlier. So it has its own copy of that Gantt chart book in the front of this. So it has like that entire notebook here. And then it looks like a, what is this? Daily page book, unmarked daily page. So they're made to, um, let's pop that back on here. Focus, focus, there it is. So it's just a daily page book. Um, is that the whole entirety of this thing? Yeah, so this is just, you can you can put your own dates in there in this book. So interesting setup from Mormon. I don't know that it's more functional than anything else that anyone else is doing like Hobonichi, Kukuyo, Steology. Um, it does make more sense in this format, the thin book, right? It serves as a, um, works in conjunction. So you can have your individual short notes here and then expand your day-day notes here. But how many pages is this, right? It's certainly not a year's worth of pages, I don't think. I'll have to see. It's close, maybe. So we'll have to see. Um... We'll have to get TJ to look it up online because I don't see the pages listed here. So it could be functional. Mormon's paper is so nice. Like, I really like it. Like, they do a good job. So this is diary with cover. 33 bucks. That's pretty cheap. I just want to know how many pages is that inside book. That's more than 80 pages, huh? It looks like maybe it is 80 pages, so 160 days. So a little less than half a year. So you'd have to buy, if you wanted this for the whole year, and use this, this part once per day, you'll have to have a second and then maybe even a third one of these. Um, two if you just do weekdays. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it's good. It's fine. I don't know that it moves the needle for me in any way. Like, it's cool. I like it. So maybe I'll just do a giveaway of like all the Mormon kit and accessories, even though that's like a redundant notebook insert. All right. What else do we have in here? Something big. Oh, yeah, Jet Pens is starting to carry the um, Yamamoto Paper Fountain Pen Sampler. So let me, if you're not familiar with this, let me, uh, they had these at the San Francisco Pen Show. I bought one there, and now it looks like they're selling them to retailers. It is super packaged. So I don't know if these are actually up on the site yet or coming later this month, but they'll be popular. Yeah, so what do they call it? Fountain pen friendly paper collection. So there are 18 different papers in this collection from Yamamoto Paper. 
And this was a hit at the San Francisco Pin Show. It's cool to see them being made available to someone like Jet Pins. So you can check them all out. So yeah, this is cool. They had them noted coming soon. Yeah, they're going to do really well. Um, yeah, it's funny. Taizo from Yamamoto Paper, he gave me one to give away. He gave me one at San Francisco. Then I gave it away at the uh, at the podcast event. And then the next day, he gave me another one. He's like, hey, you gave the last one away. <laughs> he gave, you gave the last one away. You should take another one for yourself. I'm like, okay, I'll do that. Thank you. He's so nice. But uh, that, I thought that was funny. But yeah, I saw everyone carrying these around at the show. Uh, everyone very much enjoyed them. So these will do super well on uh, on jet pins. All right, that's all the big stuff. I got some some random loose pins. Oh, I bought some markers. Yeah, these are like things that I don't really need, but um, I wanted to try out anyway. So these are the big um, Molotov um, liquid markers. So they do them in all different sizes. I don't know all the details. I'll have to. I bought these to learn more about them recently. But it's basically like um, art supplies. So I don't even know what's the difference between all of these variants here. So that's something I'm just gonna play with. Um, I think Molotov's a new new category for them and then this is a uh, pilot dr grip 0.3 millimeter ballpoint which 0.3 millimeter ballpoints are like the crazy crazy needle um scratchy lines but i like them i'm interested to see how they do in a wide barrel like as much as i like a 0.3 line when you get them in a wider barrel like this they're harder to use i feel so um yeah, that's that. All right. One box left. Even supposing he's going to be late for work. All right. So, I bought a pin, a pin, a big fancy pin. Ugh. A big fancy pin at Drum Goals. Um, there's my address. One box left. And it's the most money I've ever spent on a pin. And I told myself, well, if I'm going to do that, I have to get get this pin sale going. So I put up 19 pins for sale on my website. See, I promise you I didn't open this. I'm just slicing it open now. And I sold 14 of them, I think. So it wasn't necessarily about the money as much as I just need to clear the space. Like If I'm, if I'm going to commit to a pin that's this expensive... Look at all these. This is, thing is seriously packed. Um, if I'm going to commit to a pin this expensive and use, and use it, I, all these other pins are not going to be used, so I need to sell them. So um, that was a lot of packing. I did not expect it to come in a box this big. Ugh. All right, let me clear some space here. So as of like Sunday night, Monday morning, I sold the 14 pins or sold the 10 pins that I need to sell, sold a few more than that. Um, getting this pin in finally and using it and getting to ink it up is gonna make me wanna sell more pins because I'm gonna wanna use this pin all the time. So, there's the box. What do you need, Tony? And then we can see if I can sell it because I need to sell some more stuff. Um, yeah, I did. I'd never seen the box that these came in. So I don't know. Well, our tastes aren't that similar, Tony. So this is a big old Namiki box. Very curved, very fancy. So, um, what I ordered was a Namiki Yukari in... Ready? Drum roll, please. In Milky Way. So, this pen, like no camera, is going to do this pen justice. I'll try to take some pictures in. The reason why I decided on this pen is I've, I've seen these a couple, um, probably like in the last two years. The work on these 
it makes me feel things <laughs> like this is like so impressive um it's kind of an emotional pen for me i don't know why it's um it's a brass barrel so like these pens the reason why i bought this particular pen is it is it is made to be used it is writing size right it's not gigantic like an emperor or a royale or any of the other ones um that pilot has it's made to be a daily use pen and as john lane was explaining to all of us even their high-end expensive pens like the emperors and things like that the artisans designed those pens to be used now that's a little harder to stick in a pocket and use but this is a brass barrel with the maquille artwork on it um i mean i've i've lusted after this pen for quite some time the artwork is stunning i know i won't be able to show it well on here but the planets in there are rotten and they have separation in them like you can see these ridges in the planets that they have and it's just got this depth and character and then it's got the gold dust of the galaxy swirling around the pen and all of the larger size planets let's see it's not really coming in there there it is um, all of the larger size planets have this extra character and style to them um, I adore this pen. Um, I had to order it because they didn't have any fine nibs in stock. The smallest it comes in is fine, so I got a fine nib. It's got uh, Mount Fuji there on the top of the nib. It is stunning. I It just feels so good. It looks so good. It makes me, I don't know, I'm like emotionally attached to this pen before I even got it. And I've been looking at it, I, like I said, maybe not two years, but for well over a year. Um, they have another model with just the planets. And I saw this one next to it with the Milky Way. And I was just like, that's the one. So I'm excited to have this. I'm excited to be able to use it now <laughs> that I cleared some space in the collection for it. And it's just great. This is a pen that makes me want to limit my buying like completely like i almost want to get down to like having like 10 or 20 pens right this pen makes me want to do that because i want to i will use this pen all the time i this is a pen that will never be uninked and with me right so <laughs> even supposing you just looked up the price yes i got a discount um it would have been hard for me to pay the full price of this pen um, I got a really good discount thanks to the fine folks at Drum Ghouls. So I, uh, I jumped at it. So yeah, I got it for an exorbitant price, but a good price. So what ink will I ink it up with? I've been thinking about this for like a week and I'm going to start with uh, Pilot Orochizuku Sukiyo. So that seems like a good fit for this pen. Um, it seems like it'll have good character. I'm gonna stick with like the Pilot and the Orochizuku inks. It does have the Con 70 converter in it. How many do I actually have pens? I have no no idea. I mean, I have hundreds of fountain pens. So it's got the Con 70 converter. I'll link it up when I get home, um, take some pictures. Um, but this pen, what's different about this pen than like the Nakayas that I love um, so this is the Namiki Yukari Milky Way. I think that's the official name of it. Um, what I've been thinking about when I bought this pen and like how it different, how it differs a little bit from like my Nakayas that I love, like I swear by. I love writing with my Nakayas. That is my favorite writing pen. When I pick up a Nakaya, if I haven't used it for a day, every time without fail that I pick it up, I'm going to go, yeah, this is how I like to write. With this pen, it's like this is the pen I want as a representation 
of my love for fountain pens and the art and artistry and is a pen I can carry with me every single day. So this pen actually makes me want to own less pens. Um, we'll see how that happens. Like I started my sale and you know, I've started to move through a bunch of them. I'm going to pull out another 20 in a week or so. And I'm going to keep like refining this down as narrow as possible. To me, that could still be 50 to 100 pens, right? But it doesn't need to be things that I don't use. And this pen is going to change that because um, the way I will use this pen. Like this will be my all day, everyday pen for the foreseeable future. Something on paper. Thanks for the Twitch sub. So there you have it. That's the pen I bought. Um, I'll bring it with me to all the pen shows so you can see it. I will be using this pen uh, on the daily. Thanks, Tony. Appreciate it. So, yeah, now, Tony, we got to find what pens of mine that you like that I can sell you. Yeah, because so like it's got the gold furniture, right? But it's just the clip right and it goes with the remainder of the um ink dependence mike thanks for the sub you're the man hey y'all go follow ink dependence mike on uh twitch make sure you follow him so you know when he goes live how are you going to carry that thing around just like this like if i buy a pen it's to be used like it's going to go right here like i do not care You'll buy your M my my M ninety. Um, I'm not gonna say no. I'm not super interested in selling that pen just for what it is. I'm not gonna say no though. Yeah. So yeah, I didn't pay full retail stupak, but it doesn't mean I didn't pay an exorbitant amount for something like it's totally you know an unnecessary item. But uh, back to your question, Miguel, about the hardware, that's exactly right. So it's not emblazoned with gold, right? It's just the nib and the clip. And the way it works with the Galaxy uh, artwork that's on here, it totally works. Totally works. So, <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, it just go. I mean... This is going to be the pen I use and carry like all the time. So I'm going to have to work on selling some, some other pens um, because of how I think I'm going to use this pen and the handful of pens that I use the most. So I don't know. Velociraptor. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <clears throat> so I'm thrilled. I'm very happy with it. I can't wait to uh, show y'all in person. and You can get to write it. Um, I did post the first round of sales stuff that went up on Sunday. I posted 19 pins. I've sold 14 of them. I'm actually surprised the Pelicans didn't sell. Um, I don't think they were priced too high, um, but maybe I'll lower them. There will be another batch of pins to sell. I have not pulled them, so I wouldn't even begin to know what's going to be in that. There will absolutely be probably another batch of 15 to 20 pins uh, in the coming weeks. <clears throat> so... Yeah, so the sale pins, the sale went real well. <laughs> you better tell Neil deGrasse Tyson about it. Does he have this one? I know he's a big pin guy. And he probably has this model. How did they get this in here? So this box is huge and fancy. And it comes, the one thing about Namiki, um, they do have a lifetime warranty on the pins. Oh, this is cool. So, like, this is the uh, the artist card. Let me put it back on the camera. So that's the artist card that comes with it. They do have a lifetime warranty on the pens. Not that I would ever intend to use it, but that is good to know. So, yeah, it's cool. Like, I will save all these things see i needed to sell all this stuff just for the box i needed room to put the box in i love pilot's little ink pox this will never be opened i never use pilot blue i am um 
That's a good question, Velociraptor. I don't know. My intention is yes, but I'm not married to that, if that makes sense. Since it's fine, um, I could probably do a pretty good stub or Curse of Italic on there. Yeah, Pilot Blue, like, I don't even need that. Like, Pilot Black I use on the regular. Pilot Blue I do not need. It's just not that good. It's either Black or Blue Black are their best stock inks. Yeah, Blue Black I use all the time. I think the cartridge in there was actually Blue Black, not Blue. So, there you have it. We'll talk about it on the podcast this week, I'm sure, with Mike, because I haven't told him what it is. Um... <clears throat> What ink were you putting in it? I'm going to start with uh, Sukiyo from uh, Iro Shizuku. It's a nice blue, um, mid like a midnight blue, a uh, little green in it. It seems uh, very galaxy-ish. And I'm not going to use Shinkai because I use that so often, or, or blue-black. I wanted something a little bit different. Um, and I will probably, like if I like Sukiyo, I will... Um, oh, Tony, a new... Black Rhodium M605 is 247 at Colt Pens. Interesting. Okay. I didn't check those prices. Does anyone know what's the smallest Nakaya model? I don't know if there's something smaller than the Piccolo. So, I don't know. Sukiyo is a great color. Um, it's got some character. And I would like to just have an ink for this pen. And it's always that ink. So, that's what I'm thinking about. And I hope it is. I think I probably, that will probably be the one. I feel pretty comfortable about that choice. Something John Lane from Pilot told me. Right now, the Iroshizuku ink prices, they lowered them. They're going back up next year. So, this is the lowest they'll be for, I guess, ever. I mean, $20 for a bottle of a Roshizuku is, uh, that's pretty good. All right. All right, even supposing. Glad we made it there. Yeah, it didn't take too long. Now I just want to get home and ink it up. I didn't bring the ink or anything to ink it up here. I didn't want to make a mess, so. Horde Iroshizuku ink on it. I mean, he said the price is already, like, in the system. So it's coming soon. What's funny is it, it was only like a year or two ago they lowered the price on the Roshizuku ink. So um, I don't. I only use what I use: um, Shinkai, Sukiyo, um, Konpeki. I don't think I really use any of the other ones, so I might should check into them. That pink is really good. It's Momiji, Momiji. Um, that one always looks good. But yeah, I'm going to put a good, like, all-day writing ink into this pen, and I think Sukiyo is it. Um, <clears throat> it's different enough to me from Shinkai to be able to have that full, to, to notice the difference. So, Sutsuji, what color is that? I'm going to go offhand. All right, you're not going. Bye. You're going to be late. Fuyugaki, I just don't love Fuyugaki. I just don't. It's it's perfectly fine. It's totally fine. Love, I do not love it. Right? There's a difference. Oh, here's the artist. Um, here's the artist signature on the pen. Tsuji is pink. I did open the big pilot box. I'll show you what it is. So it's the uh, Namiki Yukari uh, Milky Way. Hang on. I was just showing the artist signature here. I did not like the gray. Uh, you're not really going to see it. So I bought the Milky Way Makie, uh Namiki Yukari. So it's very shiny and it's very planetary. Uh, yeah, it's super hell out of focus. These cameras don't do great with that. So I'll have to take some pictures, put it up on Instagram to show you the details in the planets. Um, I need a light just for desk cam? Totally. Totally. I think I probably just need to adjust these lights I have, period. Um, they're too close. I need to push them back and be able to get it down into the desk a little bit better. Like I can just take one, put it back, and take another and just do it on the desk. So it's very pretty. It's very expensive. Um, full disclosure, I did not play full price for it. Um, 
so yeah, it will be getting inked up soon as I get home. And then I'll take, uh, yes, hence the massive sell-off. Um, so yeah, I'll be, uh, yeah, these webcams. Like, I was, I shot, like, my first, like, video right before this stream, Mike. And, like, as I picked up objects, like, to show, and it would just, like, adjust. And it's like, I don't know. It's just a pain in the butt. And then I noticed at the end of the video, I left the, the Logitech logo on the video. Well, I'm not going back to record the whole thing over again. I was like, damn it. It's like, I don't know all these things. Uh, so it's good enough for like streaming, like for like YouTube. I don't know. Like it, it, you almost need like a real camera. Uh, like you're a professional like that. Not me. It's hard to do the sell off um, for me, but not just... It wasn't the picking of the pins to sell. It was just the coordination of actually listing the sale, you know, taking the pictures, um, you know, putting up on the site and, yeah, finding the boxes, like, getting convert. I realized, like, at the end, I was like, man, I, I don't – pretty sure, like, I don't keep the original converter with that pin. Like, I keep – I have a box of converters, right? Unless it's a very specialized converter, my converters don't stay with that pin, so, um, yeah, so like some of them, I just sailor pins, you get a sailor converter, you know, I sell them on my website. Yeah. I don't keep this it up very often. I have a for sale page. I don't even link it on the site, um, because it's usually not active, but yeah, it's uh panic.com slash for sale. Like it's up right now. So like I'll go through and I'll uh, delete all the products that are sold, keep the ones up that are still up there, probably lower the prices if they don't sell in another day or two. And then in the future, I'll add some more. Converters always stay with the pen. Yeah. If I send you my pens, will you sell them for me on consignment? I will not. There's not enough percentage <laughs> for my sanity. Definitely not. Sorry. <laughs> mm. Oh, it'd be 0% commission? That's not how consignment works. That's not how consignment works. Oh, you gonna have a table there, Mike? I need to book my Philly stuff. You did miss it, Andrew. Uh-oh. I thought you were there in the beginning. No? You got the close. Andrew got the closest guess, by the way. Oh, you and Tammy, cool. Your guess was the closest, Andrew. It is the uh, Namiki Yukari Milky Way. That's it. There she is. But you almost got it. You were the closest. Tony, I think you you had the best guess because I had talked about that pin before. It just ended up being too big. <clears throat> um, it's a great looking pin. No, but uh, you weren't far off. And I've talked about that one before. It's also too heavy with the brass. Like, I think the old ones did not have a brass barrel of that Royale, right? Like, these have a brass barrel, but they're smaller. The Yukari Royale, I thought at one point had an ebonite barrel. Am I wrong on that? I could be very wrong on that. But then modern ones have a brass barrel. And the Vermilions, those are just good looking. Those are just good looking. They're just not for me. They're a little bit big. Um... So yeah, this is sized perfectly. Um, the weight is great. So yeah, it's good. It's good. <clears throat> yeah, Anthony was selling a UK pins was selling a Vermilion eight forty five. Pilot does some good stuff. So. Needs a 20 nib, which one? The 845? 
That's true. I wonder what's the price. Have you looked at the? Have you compared the price difference? It's got to be what twenty percent. Did I sell some pins so I could buy a custom keyboard? Not yet. Maybe that's in the next batch. Although the next the next round of sales won't be going towards any pin. Like I don't need. I don't have any other pin on my radar. Um, it'll just go to you know future funds future pin funds although if i'm trying to go to the pin show in philly you know maybe i'll find something there so i need to keep selling until then but mostly i just need to thin the herd because my usage is really narrowed to a pretty fine subset of pins that i own so i just need to keep narrowing it down as i go so that's the plan Man, this this has a fine nib. It looks almost extra fine. So I'll take some pictures this afternoon once I get inked up, once I get it inked up and get home, and um, you know test it out a little bit more. All right, back to work for you. Fifty would be a fantastic number for me. I mean, that's a lot for any normal any normal things you did miss it rich but i'll show it to you it's the namiki yukari milky way not inked up yet i'll link it up when i get home so yeah that's it very happy with it it's super cool all right print storm have a good day. Thanks for the shout outs when you see me in goth chat. <laughs> I like monkeying around in there. That's like what I that's what I have on in the background when I'm working almost always. <clears throat> we need more goose game, not today. I got too much to do today. Methania, see ya. Go to bed. Well, that's not bedtime yet. Um Whoop. We'll we can probably play goose on Thursday though, since we did so much unboxing today, I won't have too much, uh, too much chit chat on, um, Thursday. So maybe we'll do some more goose on Thursday. I really want to get this guy inked up. So I'll have lots of pictures coming up today with, uh, lots of pens. You did miss the pen, but I'll show it to you. Not this one. So this is Ian's. What did we? What was this? What was the name of this one? I already forgot it again. Something space. So this was the pen. So this is the Namiki Yukari Milky Way. So it's a Makie. Maki. Thank you, Deep Space. Rich Sticks. Thanks, buddy. You're the best. Thanks for all your orders too. You ordered a lot of pens. <laughs> so um, real quick, like Ink Dependence Mike did it. A bunch of y'all did it. We're ordering like dozens of the big loaner pen. I just cracked up every time I packed one of your orders. It was awesome. I sold, so I got 300 of those pens. I sold 220 of them already this weekend since I put it out. It's great. Y'all are insane. So yeah, this is my ooh pen. So uh, I'm anxious to get it home, get it inked up. We're going to ink it up with Pilot Orochizuku um, Sukiyo. Yeah, those Bics are great. And I bought, I don't know if, did I, I may have, I think I put it in the description. I bought the fine ballpoint. So it's like the little needle ballpoint blue. Um, so yeah, I'm going to order some more. So on the Bic loaner pens, like if I do another batch, do you want the exact same color or do you want me to just like mix it up every time and do some crazy colors? Because I can do anything. They have so many fun colors you can play with. I, I figured I'd go with the very on brand model the first time and then the next time we can we can branch out a little bit more you know do some purple and greens or something like that or do you want them always the same and i can get different ink colors on the interior too i couldn't believe how many people were ordering dozens it was hilarious it was over and over and over again i just cracked me up i was like i can't wait till they uh till they get them and um uh start handing them out that'll be cool <clears throat> it doesn't take me long to reorder those like less than a week i from when the time i email them offer a dozen bundle maybe yeah just make it easier right because there were probably at least 
10, there were probably almost a dozen, dozen orders. I couldn't believe it. Get black the pen, like solid black. That wouldn't be my next choice. <laughs> black text on black barrel. That's a, that's not a terrible idea. <laughs> yeah, it's just fun. It's just fun. Thanks for letting me do that. I'm surprised. Yeah, our little funny, funny thing. Gray text on black barrel. God, that's boring. They do. Um, she actually talked the the lady I work with at Cheap Pen. She actually talked me out of the orange shiny barrel because she said she didn't like how it came out with the printing. Um, she said it doesn't. It just didn't look good because my first choice was the orange metallic barrel and she talked me into the cream sickle which i think was the the right choice but they have a ton of options a ton so i'm going to do something like you know blue raspberry yeah the the text has to be huge for sure yeah the next one will be more unicorn barfy a loaner customizer. That would be easy because Bic lists all their colorways. Like I can get him the form, like it's in my inbox and you can probably find it online very easily. There's a definitive list of color choices I can make. And you can do top barrel, bottom barrel, text. <laughs> He's working on the journal customizer. Cool. I can't wait to see that. That'll be awesome. You have to let me know when that's ready. But yeah, for all the bit color selection, you can't build it at least you can't build it live, but you can see all the colors. Purple and orange. Purple's a high consider. I want to do like maybe purple and lime with pink loner, something like that. Purple top, lime bottom, pink loner. Something, you know, maybe a bright blue, I don't know, something like that. So we'll play around with it and see. Where did the Namiki come from? It came from Drom Ghouls when I was visiting them. Um, unfortunately for me, the pilot rep was there and had them, even though I'd seen this at last year's Drom Ghouls. Um, purple, green, yellow, orange, green, white. Yeah, all those are good. Anything like that is is up my alley. Should just pick up the, do a random color schemer link. Did they have the Yoza Kura? I don't know which one that is. Is that the name of the artwork? Like the 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 image? If I can see the image, I can tell you if they had it or not. They had everything that was currently available, they had like ten of them. So they probably that was probably there. And then they had the full set of the hundredth anniversary pins. Flowers and rotten, yeah, I'm almost sure. You can make me look it up now. Um, that was definitely like a top. If it's the one I'm thinking of, that was definitely like a top two or three. Oh no, I haven't. Did I see this one? I don't recall seeing this one. I don't recall seeing that one, Stacy. It's very pretty. I do not recall seeing that one. So maybe he didn't have that one there. All right, let's see this. Ooh, nice. Yeah, this is going to be cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, that looks great. That's going to be very useful. That's real cool. He's tried to do stuff for us for Knock before. Uh, I mean, I, I'd love him to, but we just changed so much. Like, it's hard to... It's hard to do. If we did anything with him, we would do a crowdsourced color, um, colorway, right? We would get him to build a site to where people could build and submit, and then we could vote on the colorway for a certain case, something like that. We've never done anything more than talk about it, but that's what I would use. That's what I would use it for. That would be very cool. Yeah, that's perfect. That's really good. All right, chat. I think that's going to be a wrap today. Um, I feel kind of out of sorts, just like going through all this stuff. So I'll, I'll need to do some organization. I got a podcast to plan. Got some other work to do. So I'm going to work on that rest of the day. I'll take some pictures of the pen inked up this afternoon. Um, get some good lighting on it. Put it in the light box. See if I can get some good pictures. Um, I'm hoping it's pretty a pretty photogenic uh, pen. But uh We'll figure out what we're going to do Thursday. Maybe we'll get some more Goose Game in. Probably. I have not told Mike yet, but uh, he'll know now because I'll have pictures up before the show. Um, oh, yeah. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not like, totally, like, out of sorts. I'm, like, out of sorts, like, okay, I need to stop because I got other stuff to do, but not like that. Hopefully your interview went well. Um, and I'm glad we can do this every week. And I want to keep doing it and keep doing more. So we'll uh, keep figuring out things to talk about. I'm going to... I'm pretty sure I'm going to do some handwriting practice one day. I just hate that my, my camera's flipping it, um, flipping it the wrong direction. So I'll work on that and see what we can do. I'm always up for uh, suggestions on what else we can do on stream. And uh, we can honk some geese for sure uh, next week. And I think that's it for now. So uh, if y'all need me, you know where to find me. I'm going to link on Twitter when I'm done the video I just uploaded to YouTube for the Gold Spot um, gift guide. So that should be cool. Yeah, they, <laughs> the flip camera can do some funny things with your brain. So we'll work on that a little bit more. But anyway, thank you all for enabling me, enabling each other, being kind, being awesome. So... We'll do this again soon. I'll talk to you all online shortly. Bye.